Today I'm going to show you how I go from app to printed document to wall hanging. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I use a free app called Pixel Art Maker. There might be better ones out there, but this is the one I use. So let's open it up. This is what the home screen looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and make a whole new pattern just for this tutorial. In the menu screen, I'm going to click new pattern. And then I'm going to click advanced and I'm going to adjust the pixels to 11 in width and then 19 in height. Once I've toggled over to the correct amount of pixels, I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to ask me what the background color is going to be. I always choose the white. Alright, so now that I have my desired amount of pixels, it is time to have some fun and be creative and design our own pattern. At the bottom, you can select whatever color floats your boat. I'm going to do this kind of tealy green color. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do a really quick, easy, fun geometric pattern. If none of these colors appeal to you, you can actually customize your colors by tapping the color icon right at the top. I'm not going to bother doing that today. The colors on the screen here are perfect. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, hey, Sheena, how do I know exactly how many pixels I need for my pattern? Well, I'm sorry to say it's actually trial and error. My recommendation would be to just grab your wooden dowel or branch, hang all your lark said knots on it, and then that way you know exactly what the width would be, and then create your pattern from there. Alrighty, so I'm happy with the pattern, so I'm just going to take a screenshot. And you know what? Let's save the pattern. So go into the menu, then click on save. Now if you ever want to revisit your pattern, go back into the menu, click load, and then all your previous patterns will be saved right in here. This is awesome because if you ever want to readjust your pattern, you can always click on it and continue editing. But I'm happy with what I've got, so let's get out of all of these and go into our photo app. Find your screenshot then hit edit and then I'm going to click on the crop button and I'm just going to crop it down to size. Now the reason why I took a screenshot as opposed to saving it directly off of the app is because when you save it, it gets rid of the grid lines and we, we kind of need those. <laughs> okay, once you have it cropped to the way you like it, we're going to click on that, um, I don't know what it's called, but the button on the bottom left corner and we're going to print it. Okay, so click print and the quantity and we'll head on over to our printer. If vertical double half hitch patterns are your jam, I invite you to click on the link on the screen and that will take you to a whole playlist of other free patterns of mine. I'll see you over there. 